646 is the time now the pandemic has made school districts and teachers rethink the way they administer student testing. It's because the temptation for students to cheat. It's even greater when they're stuck at home online learning. News Channel 3's Madison Weil has more on how parents and teachers can keep those kids accountable. From a parent perspective, it's all about having that conversation with your student. Ethan Fieldman, CEO of Study Edge. His company offers online learning support nationwide. We set up a website called anti-cheating.com, which is a free resource for parents to find out all the different ways that they can help their student not to cheat. If you're a parent or a teacher, it's a resource worth checking out. Anti-cheating.com covers basic tips like taking away a student's cell phone during a home exam to explaining new software and apps that exist to prevent online cheating. I use an app called Quizzes, uh, which um, provides time limits for the students. Louise Cardenas, a social studies teacher at La Familia High School in Thermal, says using a testing app that has time limits and prevents the copy and paste function from working can help. I'll try to create questions that really they can't just simply Google. He also uses the app called Nearpod. It shows when a student stops engaging with a test or if they open another tab. The principal of La Familia High School, Dr. Rosalind Burge, says the pandemic has made them reassess student learning altogether. Before we can focus on learning and testing, I need to make sure my students are safe and they feel good about themselves. They're also rethinking the best ways to ensure kids are actually retaining what they learn. Gone are the days of the paper and the pencil test. She says in many cases it's becoming less about a simple multiple choice test and more about projects or exercises that have students explain in their own words what they've learned. How do we use authentic assessments through group work and projects and Google Docs where teachers can actually see live what students are typing and writing? adding when it's a live interaction between the student and teacher, it's a lot harder to cheat and often more enriching. How do you cheat on an assignment when it's about you and it's your opinion? If you did cheat, you're cheating yourself in that instance. Madison Weil, News Channel 3.